So then let's start talking about um, just sort of Pokemon's 20th anniversary. I mean, the mm. table's full of plushies. We yeah. got an Ash Ketchum hat in the room. <laughs> I've got Pokemon Green like right here because it's out in Japan. Mm -hmm. And I guess my question to everyone here is how has Pokemon endured 20 years? Like what has been, what, what do you think are the reasons that this thing continues to sort of still be so dominant as a franchise? So I know a lot of people dislike the new generations. Every time they're like, oh, it keeps getting weaker and weaker. Mm -hmm. But that's part that keeps it alive because like this is a new generation a new generation means this you know a new kids generation mm -hmm. like, that's their generation that's who they grew up with yeah. you know um, and I think that's a big part of it and like you see that with Doctor Who sometimes too is like mm -hmm. you keep getting new doctors and mm -hmm. it's like well this is my doctor I started with, with uh, Matt Smith so he's Ugh. he's my doctor <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> David my personal fine, doctor but, uh, yeah, so, yeah that's kind of like how it goes right yeah. like you have like almost this ownership over this Generation, and it right. just feels more personal to you. Mm. Um, and of course, they always make great collectibles. So, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, yeah. Like uh, going off of that, I, I have a friend who uh, tutors in Japan. She mm -hmm. was telling me she tutors this kid whose first Pokemon game was Diamond. Yeah, and I was blown away. I was like, <laughs> there are people alive who are that new to Pokemon. Yeah. But I love that because um, the cool thing about Pokemon is its accessibility while remaining a deep game. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think its strength is scaling difficulty and scaling uh, in, like investment. So a kid can play Pokemon and really enjoy the collection aspect or just beating the Elite Four, the journey aspect. Exploring. Yeah, exploring yeah. exploring a, a new region um, and getting to know new Pokemon. Whereas, you know, kids do this too, but but someone who, you know, is really familiar with Pokemon can dive really deeply into the metagame and really learn how behind the scenes stats work and stats you don't even see that you have to like kind of do weird math to figure out uh, yeah. and you can really scale that up and and the Pokemon competitive game just keeps getting larger and and people get really into intense strategy for what works and and how to be the very best mm -hmm. at, at <laughs> battling um, and raising Pokemon and breeding Pokemon so um, I think that's one of its strengths is it mm -hmm. endures because it scales back for anybody's what they want out of the game, you know what totally. I mean? Totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and piggybacking off of that, like, mm -hmm. you know, on the surface, Pokemon is just like, you know, a game where you explore, collect, battle with your friends, mm -hmm. trade, but again, like, it's so deep of mm -hmm. a game, like, you know, there's IVs, EVs, items, natures, abilities, movesets, mm -hmm. type advantages, mm -hmm. like, these are all things that, like, just I don't know. It's it's amazing like how deep the game is like under the surface. Yeah, and people keep discovering new things. Like in 2014, the world champion won with a Pachirisu. That was a huge which deal. Is, which is a huge, yeah. Yeah. huge deal because that metagame is extremely narrow. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of flexibility, and it's really cool to see people being like, well, I need this for my team, and this Pokemon that nobody thought of can do that for me. Mm -hmm. And bringing that Pokemon in and being really creative with that. Oh, yeah. Um, like that, it keeps it keep. I was gonna say it keeps evolving. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, oh, you're yeah. not going for the intentional pun, so I think it's all right. But I, I do think, yeah, no, it, it is a series that, um, despite kind of sticking to a very strict formula, and we're gonna talk a little bit about maybe some places we'd love to see that formula change. Mm -hmm. Totally. But it does adhere to a very strict formula, a very specific type of journey. But at the same time, each installment still manages to kind of capture kids and right. entertainment and investment, and really like sort of have them thinking like, hmm, you know, who am I going to start with? Like yeah. that's you from that first choice. Mm -hmm. And then moving forward, well, what what uh, what Pokemon do I want to catch? And and sometimes like even looking into that, right? Like people look at the box and make a decision. Oh man, that one that looks one. cool. Yeah, yeah. I want this. This is, this is what I'm starting yeah. with. This, yeah. this, this is what I'm this is what I'm going for. Um, yeah. but then you you look at yeah the, you know the deep meta game and whatnot. But let's step outside of even the games for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, like in terms of the entertainment product, in mm -hmm. terms of like the anime and how they approach like telling their stories, very kid friendly approach look at um, the championship and how it gets all of these people excited for multiple forms of this game. I mean, mm -hmm. there's the right, card the game CG, kids yeah. who come in who just, like, that's the fastest shuffling I've ever seen outside of Vegas. Like, <laughs> yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, but they're able to, you know, you're able to keep up and folks will tune in and watch and be, mm -hmm. like, really excited by it. Um, and, I mean, they've had movies. They've done, like, so many things. It's it's one of the few brands that it, it can... It's multimedia, like mm -hmm. it, it's it, it's everywhere and it's, it's on everywhere. everything. And it's been doing it since the late '90s. Yeah, it's all the yeah. snacks. 
hats on like that's right. dishware. Yeah. Like the, in Japan, they always have uh, like lottery prizes, and a lot of the lottery pro- prizes are like hand towels. I've got I've got oh, one yeah. of those yeah, and yeah. some socks. Nice. Yeah, I'm wearing them right now. Some socks. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I I also Can't like um, having. I think they're really smart about exclusive or like special edition mm-hmm. uh, merchandise um, that Miranda and I are both really crazy about. Yeah, they're always such high quality. Um, mm-hmm. I'm so jealous because Japan always has like the really cool collectibles. Um, we import a lot. We, we <laughs> import a yeah, lot. So the Pokemon centers often will have like monthly releases of different products or different mm-hmm. lines. Like there was a recent one where it was like Pokemon market i think Pokemon it was. market yeah, yeah. It was super cute and it's just them going shopping like shopping like yeah. um one of the lines was like i wonder what i'm gonna get today <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like this really cute weird thing and yeah and like little tales that. where yeah, it's like little tales will have artist Pe- collaborations yeah so it's a different art style with pikachu wearing like a nice. like a top hat and a bow tie like, they just do really special edition stuff like that okay. it doesn't really come over here yeah, yeah, so yeah no, definitely. it's really cool how they handle them they're always like such good quality too and you'll see some of that um, now, thankfully, with PokemonCenter.com, they have a lot of really good products. Like, yeah. they have little Katari, these little the, sleepy guys, sleeping oh, ones. Oh, nice. The ones, ones you there. have on the mics. Yeah. All right. Um, which is cool. So, they handle everything really well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also think they're really smart. Uh, just as a final point, I guess, for this, I think Pokemon Company and, and the developer, you know, Game Freak and, and Creatures and all the folks involved, mm-hmm. are just really smart about when they pull the trigger mm-hmm. for a new Pokemon game and yeah. where it's going to be. Um, I know this morning I saw some disappointment that... Uh, well, why isn't this on NX? Um, mm. And like, if history has taught us anything, Pokemon will go for an install base. I mean, from its inception, they went for it on uh, the Game Boy hardware, which at the time had, we said at the start, had been very long in the tooth in terms of how many years it had been available. Mm-hmm. Um, and it sort of rejuvenated and picked up sales for that. Right. And, you know, 3DS's install base is at, isn't near where DS was. Like mm-hmm. DS made it to the 100 million mark mm-hmm. unit sales yeah. in terms of uh, hardware. 3DS is closer to 50 plus million units. Mm-hmm. But if you're the Pokemon company and if you're trying to make the biggest slash possible splash possible, you're going to do that. You can't say any move type, by the way, on the podcast. <laughs> I know, that's what I said, yeah. any, any you, already, you already said sucker punch, by the way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, but you can't. You're going to make the biggest splash on the hardware base that's basically already there, and totally. so they're um, going for 3ds. It's what they did with um, black and white. If yeah. People were expecting that to be, you know, the next gen yeah. console or mm-hmm. on 3ds, but nope. Was yeah. On also, I want to point out that it is Pocket Monsters, so mm-hmm. making it a console thing is just a little. Asynchronous, they did have Pokemon Stadium, yeah. but it wasn't a mainline thing. It was actually compatible with the um, the handheld games. Same with Coliseum and XD right. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, they always keep it connected to the handheld. Yeah. So I don't know if they would completely depart from it for a new generation. Yeah. Like I don't. Well, and we don't know what NX is. Yeah, like, yeah. And I don't even thing. know what that is. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like that's the that's the biggest uh, reason. So I saw some disappointment over that this morning. I'm just like, I don't know mm. if you understand who they're going for and who right, they're yeah. selling to. Yeah. yeah, I'd be disappointed to see. I mean, it may be a weird one, but like a core Pokemon game like that on a on a console because it's just not it's not ideal how you play yeah. Pokemon. I don't Unless want that. Unless this NX yeah. thing ends up being the home hybrid, hybrid, excuse me, the home handheld hybrid. That's a that's a tongue twister <laughs> device yeah. that yeah. you are gonna take with you and then plug in into something when you so get no. home. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't make sense yet for this to happen. Yeah, I mean, I I had the same thing with Animal Crossing, like a, a game that is designed for the way handheld users play, just doesn't. I mean, like, so when Animal Crossing went to DS, it was so improved. Uh, yeah. And then when they went back to Wii, I was like, this was, doesn't work for my play style anymore. Yeah, I played it, like, far less. Played I, I played have. City Folk, like, not at all, and yeah. I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing. And so it's sort of the same thing for Pokemon with me, where it's like, my style is I get on the train on my way home from, home from work, I hatch a couple eggs, none of them work, I release all the Pokemon, <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, I'll try again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Like, I play in increments that way because breeding is sort of a grind and you yeah. kind of need to break it up. Well, and it's just, better as a game you can take with yeah, you. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, having it on console wouldn't fit my play style. Maybe, you know, Pokemon Stadium as a kid, like, I'll have people come over and we'll, we would play, yeah, like the mini games and stuff, but it's for a mainline game, it just doesn't fit the yep. m- anybody's play style. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm willing to bet this is the Black Friday, uh, sort of the week before Black Friday game. Like, it, it sort of has to be. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to do great for 3DS this yeah. holiday because this past holiday was, was pretty much um, a rough year for them.